This presentation shows how to save tag values to an external database and even retrieve those values and display them using the standard trained control object from in the software studio. So first of all, I'm going to create a new database and it could be any database, but in this particular example, I will use the Microsoft SQL Server database. So I can right click here in databases, create a new database give a name to this database like db trained okay and this is pretty much done i have a brand new database here in my uh, microsoft sql server database which is just an example i could be using any other database like oracle sql server uh, and so on and so forth so back to indosoft uh, i can create a brand new project so i go to file new project and give a name to this project like for instance db trained find here the project resolution and the first step would be to create a connection to this external database so i can go to project settings select the options tab and click here in configure then under the connection string fields i can either type the connection string for the database or just click here on this button where I can browse through the providers available to different databases and Indosoft builds the connection string automatically for me. In this particular case, I use the provider for Microsoft SQL Server because I'm using the Microsoft SQL Server database. Next, here I can browse or type the name of the server where the SQL Server is installed. In this case, it's the local computer and I'm using SQL Express. I'm going to use the Windows Integrated Security. And it shows here the databases available in that particular server. One of them is the DB trains that we just created. You can test the connection. Connection succeeded. OK. OK. So I defined my default database. The next step now is to create a trained worksheet. So I go to Tasks. Under trained, I can right click and insert a new trained worksheet where I can create the tags that will be saved into the database. Like for instance, tag A, let's create as an integer, tag B, another integer, tag C, another integer. They could be real tags or even Boolean tags as well. Here I define a description, just uh, an alias uh, description to give a documentation for this group. Like for instance, trained example. And here I define when I want to insert new records into the database. This option save on trigger inserts a new record whenever the tag in this field changes of value. So if I leave the tag seconds here, I will insert a new record into the database once a second. And I can also cl click this option here, save on tag change. So whenever any tag from this group changes of value, the new, uh, the, the trained task will insert a new record in the database with the updated values. In this case, I will just save once a second, regardless of the tags changing of values or not. So I can save this group. Let's say as the group one. And here in history format, by default, Indosoft saves the, the history trained information into Indosoft proprietary files in the binary format. But if I change here to database, then the trained task automatically saves the data to an external database. In this case, to the default database that we uh, created, configured a few minutes ago. And the table can be automatically created by Indosoft. And uh, I can use the default train, uh, table name, like train001. Or if I uncheck this checkbox, I can customize the table name. In this case, I will use the default table name. So I can save this group. And it's pretty much done. Uh, if I run the application, even though I do not have any screens or anything like that, the task is running. So Indosoft must create the table and save records on this table once a second. So if I go back here to the SQL Server database, I can right click and refresh this database. So under tables, 
I can see the table trained 001 created by Indosoft. And if I open this table, I see here, uh, I must see the timestamp and the values for the tags, tag A, tag B, and tag C. So I have here the timestamp. Once a second, Indosoft inserts a new record in the database with the values of tag A, B, and C, which at this point is all zeros because the, I, I do not have any logic changing the values of those tags. If I want to display those values on the screen, I can go to graphics, insert a new screen, create here the trained object, and change here the zoom to fit to window. So I can create a trend here as big as the screen. There you go. Go back to 100%. And now on the trend object, I can go to points and define here the tags that I want to show, like tag A, tag B, and tag C. Let's use labels just like the tag names. Define different colors here for each pen. Okay, and just to simulate values, I can go to the library of symbols, sliders, and create here a slider to simulate the value of tag A. Copy this slider to create here, simulate the value of tag B. And finally, one more slider to simulate the value of tag C. And save it, for instance, as the main screen, and make this screen the startup screen. So now I can run the application, and I can simulate values for tag A, tag B, tag C, and supposedly those values are being saved into the database. So if I stop the application, and I run the application again, the trained control automatically retrieves the history from the database and displays the information on the screen. So I hope this presentation was useful for you and thank you for watching.